the former president of the Indigo Think Tank Group, aka Ikenga, Chief Godi Wazurike, is currently the president of a political pressure group, a credibility group. In this interview with uh, Ola Olu Ola Dikbo, he talked about uh, the state of uh, the nation, saying the current All Progressive Congress APC led government in the country has fallen short of expectations. Okay. And the question, the first question that was, he was asked was that uh, it's been a year since governments came into power. What is your appraisal of the performance of Bola Tinubu led administration so far? And what did he have to say? He, he, he said, uh, okay, what do you have to say? He said, this government came into office with a lot of bravado. Unfortunately, governance has nothing to do with bravado. Governance is not what I would call palliative. Governance means sitting down, planning based on what you have and what you expect. As you stated, this government is expected to clock one year in office next month. A year ago, Mr. President announced with so much gusto that uh, the era of uh, payment of waste subsidy is gone. When the announcement came, many of us knew that there was a problem. First and foremost, many of us know that the nation's income per capita is very low. Two of the immediate past, uh, uh, past Muhammad Bari led governments had already crippled the economy. So when Tinubu came, people were looking forward to their poor economic burden being removed. Unfortunately, when the new government came, the burden further increased. To me, what was very big mistake on the part of the new government, the reason is that when you remove the payment of a subsidy, it is likely removing something with one hand and giving it back with the other hand. Yes, the government has made promises of making things better, but we are still waiting for that to happen. Can you imagine a civil servant any thirty thousand naira minimum, which with the former, which the former president was reluctant to sign into law? That person will now be fueling, buying fuel at the rate of six hundred and twenty naira. The question now is, will he be able to do that? When NLC processed the government's promise to look into the, their demands, they have not done that a year after. This government did not plan well. Really? Yes, another thing is that uh, there, is a, there is this nepotistic approach being used by this government. It is like all the top echelon of government is so much concentrated within a 5 kilometer radius of Lagos. This is uncalled for. We all went to the university and we are all citizens of this country. But when you concentrate your appointments in a haphazard manner, then you get a haphazard results. Let me just give you an example. A state like Ogun State has three ministers while the entire Southeast Zone has just five ministers. Look at the Southwest and the Northwest Zones to see the number of ministerial appointments that have been allotted to them. You now notice that even the North Central Zone is also complaining. When the government is doing something in a parochial manner, it gets parochial results. <laughs> parochial results. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay, what this man is saying in essence is that uh, any Igbo man waiting for redemption on that Inumbu wasting time. The person is wasting time. According to what uh, Wazuriki said, do you really believe in that? Do you really believe, 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 believe in that? No, 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 no. Some people might say no. Uh, uh, even is it Igbos? <laughs> they never believed in in him anyway. So I don't think uh, uh, that uh, statement should be referred to to Indigo. Yes, it should not be referred to Indigo. Does this suggest that the president harbors some misgivings against Igbo ethnic nationality? I don't think so because when he was the governor of Lagos, he extended the hands of fellowship to the Igbos in Lagos. Up to now, I don't even know what has happened to President Bola Tinubu. He was a different person as a governor from what he is now. This is the truth. So if he's harboring anything, I don't know. All I see now are the results of his so his actions so far. You are a member of a various uh, influential Igbo groups and Indigo leaders contemplating a meeting with the president table these issues with him. 
The issue is not whether we will be considering meeting with the president. Seeing the president, we have to go through some of some form of protocol. You make your request to see him and you will have to wait for response and clearance. I am aware that your Anisi has requested to requested a meeting with him. We met with former president Muhammadu Buhari in the end. Nothing happened. It was me and the late Dr. Chukwe Mekaizifi, Chief Mbazulike Ameji and some others who visited President Bola Tinubu. We pointedly asked him to release Nam Dekanu to us. He promised us heaven and earth and he would that he would look into it. He didn't give us any answer. At least till he left the um till he left the the office. <laughs> okay. One question again to this man is that uh, you talked about the robustic approach of the administration uh, to governance with respect to appointment into government. In what other areas do you think the Southeast have been disadvantaged? Okay, there is what is called glass ceiling and we are simply not there. The best brains among Indigo are not in government because nobody is willing and disposed to appointing them into government. Many people waited for the government's God disappointment. Many people who waited for the government got disappointed. If you are an Igbo man and you are looking towards the Tinumbu government for appointments and you are waiting for government redemption, then you are wasting your time. I am saying this without any fear of contradiction. Well, he's entitled to his opinion. I'm sure, of course, because he's, a, he's an Igbo man and they'll say, hey, you want this person to be because uh, your candidate did not win. Mm -hmm. If uh, somebody like uh, Dele Faru Tibi comes out to speak, they say, oh, this one is Omali. If uh, other people comes, other people come come out and say, oh, this is the fault of the president. Oh, because you are supporting this, your candidate did not win. The sweet thing out of this whole thing is that uh, everybody, uh, they talk brief as last, last. That is it. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.